This is something we need we need a chance to play on the kill stream. It is actually a PewDiePie clip. Um and this is where he actually goes over that right wing watch article. Slenderman episode three thousand five hundred and eighty seven. Ah Slenderman! Ah! <laughs> it's, it's interesting that he actually addresses it, which means he's paying attention to this stuff. Oh yeah, he is. Yeah, he, he has he, been. He really is. It's sort of he insane that Two over two and a half million people have watched this video. So stupid. Most of these names, as far as I've deduced, I don't know, aren't even far right commentators. It's just a label to put on them for the sake of convenience. And by that measure, I'm I'm surprised I wasn't in this. I, a lot of times people call me far right, even though I never explicitly said any right wing political view beyond any social politics. This whole this whole this you whole image reminds me of that meme. That one part, yeah, go ahead. Uh, the reason why he's not on the list, I think, is because he's not in debates with everyone. He does his own thing. He yeah, doesn't he does. interact yeah. with any other YouTubers. Yeah, exactly. He doesn't really go on these shows. He doesn't go on Drama Alert or Killstream. So that's how he doesn't really get entangled in any of this mess. Also, he hides his power levels very well. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, he does. He's woke as fuck. Ever since they went after him, he got woke on the, a lot of things. Yeah, to, to be, Bull. yeah, to be fair, when the media goes after you and starts calling you things that you're not, it really wakes you up pretty quickly to know that the media is fucking scum and they lie about fucking everything. Yeah, so he's probably just watching. Stuff? He's probably just watching from the sidelines, but he's not really jumping in to participate in it. I don't know. I've I've heard that he's um you know, become a little bit politically active, just behind the scenes. Um, I haven't heard that? anything of that. Yeah, me neither. No, no you wouldn't have. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Akajin's making a boomer <laughs> stuff again. Alright, I'm going to continue at 11.50. He talks about it for a couple minutes, so let's see if we can yep. power through All right. it. You know, where the football coach touches his balls and then <laughs> it's the same thing. Uh, really great study. They're also enforcing that YouTube must respond. They must respond with policies against these influencers. So this study isn't just a study. It's also calling to action towards YouTube to make something about this. I could go into deep details, but I, I can't. No one cares. They talk about how mainstream legacy media have built credibility through fact checking while this study gets simple facts wrong drawing lines between collaborations and interactions that never have occurred. They talk about how these YouTube influencers use controversy to sort of boost uh, themselves and for He's monetary right gains, which of course mainstream media has never done. They never use controversies to thrive themselves upon uh, uh, these uh, things. Literally, The Verge headline on this incident was how white supremacists are thriving on YouTube. That's not what the study is saying, even if we try to reach that sentiment. They also point out a lot of times, I counted eight times, they point out how they focus on luring in young audiences. It's all about tricking those young kids into becoming radicalized and these different ideas. Political commentators on YouTube don't, don't exist to lure people or young kids in as this uh, seems to elude. They exist because people want to consume them. People want to hear other people's take on things because they literally can't Yeah, get it's it about entertainment. Else. A lot of times with mainstream media, and you, they have the exact same people take on things. Them. You really have to dig deeper to get the full story. And it's the same thing with reviews of any sort. I think there's been a shift where people want to hear what other people are saying. I'd much exactly rather right. hear a YouTube reviewer talk about a video game than a faceless company evaluating a game. A lot of these political commentators on YouTube are a lot more cut and dry. You either pick the, a virtuous stance or you take the stance that you believe is more objective. And there's just no in between. A lot of these social politics really just feels like a schoolyard banter in a grown up manner. Uh, oh, you're, you're bad. No, 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 you're bad. It's all about who's evil and who isn't. I'm Kate Riley and you watched Pew News. I'm Kate Riley and you've just been riled up.
Okay, I think that's I the end that. of that. We'll, we'll stop it right there. But nothing he said in this entire video was wrong. He's right about that. Let's be honest, yeah. kids kids aren't really watching, you know, any of us. This stuff isn't entertaining to them. The young audience, I don't know what he means by young, what that article means by young audience at all. The army of nine-year-olds. Yeah, <laughs> the, the Minecraft army, right? The Minecraft militia. Clearly, Clearly they're, they're all watching, uh, they're all watching Peppa Pig. Oh, yeah, no, it's kids a, are it's watching him. Projection. They yeah. start indoctrinating um, people into the shit as soon as they're kids. So they're gonna, they're projecting that on the right. All of this social but, justice, Marxism, transgender bullshit. Well, so kids, that, yeah, so kids aren't really, they're watching PewDiePie, of course, yeah, because that's, his target audience is that from his earlier days. But <laughs> as for, as for any of us, or, you know, anyone, like, they had who JF on them. They had Saga on there. Red uh, Coach Red Pill. I don't think kids are watching Coach Red Pill. You know, definitely not watching Andy Wars. I don't think anyone's watching Coach Red. Pill. <laughs> um, but that's the thing. Medicare. I don't. Well, I think Medicare. Yeah, I don't think kids are watching Medicare either. Like his age ranges are off. Even though, yeah, people of course lie about their age on the internet to get accounts and to get past the YouTube basically says that if you're not this age it's age restricted you can't watch it so even then kids, kids yeah. wouldn't even know who he is yeah so nathaniel heath in the chat kids are interested in video games and makeup tutorials yeah pretty much they, they want to watch video games they want to watch cartoons or whatever and, and things like that they're not watching us for a political commentary they're not watching it for like trump news or anything like that they're not watching what, it for like election news what is the new one? Has a, like Robots a million subs. Like kids wouldn't button. even watch this video. He had 50 million because subs. Because it would be boring to them. Actually, he's close to 66 and a half now. God damn. Yeah. But yeah. kids these days are watching Fortnite dance videos. That's there you go. Watching. That's what they're watching. If it's got Fortnite in it, they're watching it. If we, if we make Fortnite and talk about that stuff, yeah, then maybe they'll watch it. But <laughs> other than that, they're not watching it. Did you hear about the official like Fortnite dance class? No, I, I have not. And that's, that's fucking terrible. Parents are actually paying for their kids to get Fortnite dance classes. Yeah, oh, Christ. It's that popular. Oh, jeez. But yeah, I mean, kids should be watching what kids stuff anyway. They shouldn't be... Let kids be kids should, and let them, you know... They shouldn't be fucking watching anything. They should be outside. Well, if you're going to watch something, watch something that's, you know, kid stuff. You know what? I think kids should learn all the other things in Fortnite, such as shooting guns. Oh, <laughs> building? <laughs> building walls? <laughs> no. Well, I, no. Saw th I saw this this morning, and I laughed my ass off when I saw the video. I'm gonna play it real quick. I'm gonna say, workers try to stuff dead whale in dumpster. This is from the post. So I'm gonna play this. Uh, it's a Twitter video. So this is this. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is something else. Look at all. Oh. And rejected. Oh well. <laughs> they tried to put a fucking whale in the dumpster. <laughs> like for fucking real. <laughs> they tried to put it in the dumpster. Let waste management deal with this shit. We're not doing this tonight. Oh yeah, that's smart. That'll fit. That'll definitely fit in that hole. So that's what was that guy's name? What was, what was that guy's name? The furry that got caught with the crazy shit? Carol. Carol. Yeah, know. yeah. How much do you bet Carol? Oh would that? Jesus <laughs> Christ! He probably would. Um, so was, this was a whale of a bad idea. Someone with barnacles for brains tossed a 4,000 pound whale inside a way too tiny dumpster and video captures a moment. We watched that video. Uh, the massive mammal bounces off the bin and rolls to the ground. The male juvenile mink whale was found floating Sunday around the Isles of Shoals and washed ashore on Genesis Beach Monday morning. The Seacoast Science Center in Rye, New Hampshire told NBC 10 Boston. The 16, Man, just give a, it to Japan. They'll know what think, to do with it. It's a 16-foot whale. Very disrespectful way to try and bury Boogie. It's. I mean, <laughs> they should have at least. Uh, Price left in the chat know, for Boogie. Uh, give him a grave. The whale was 16 feet long. 
clearly bigger than the dumpster they were trying to stuff it in. Officials were working on finding a larger transport container for the carcass outlet reported. Jeez. They just wanted to dump it into the fucking dumpster. Oh, I'm gonna play it again. It's just too funny. It's just too funny watching them think this is gonna work. Like, you can fucking clearly see that the whale is much bigger than the fucking dumpster. And it's leaking fluids everywhere and shit. Even if you had got it in, I mean, that tail's gonna be popping out halfway in the air. Yeah, and, and you hear you the would then have thud to, when it hits the ground. You'd have to angle the um, forklift forward and then try and stuff it in, which is going to crack that tail in half. Oh, toolboxy. Tool I've seen that. The whale, they blew up a whale with TNT and it just guts fly fucking everywhere. Yeah, I remember that. I was that. just about to say, isn't <laughs> that the only way to deal with the whale? Uh, you could just sink it into the ocean where they belong. Why do you have to take it yeah, out? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, feeds put it, the, back. it feeds the fish. Exactly. Just throw yeah, it in is... and let it sink to the bottom. Jesus <laughs> that Christ. That is so un-American. I mean, you could put it dynamite in it. And yeah. Blow it to but then you have... They, they but... did that to, uh, to Osama. But then you have a giant... Then you have all these whale bits everywhere. And it's just the beaches. You can't go to the beach because it stinks like carcass. Like, what is it? Rotting whale carcass.